White supremacist talking points. White supremacy, white supremacist. Anti Semite, white supremacist. Racist, racist. White supremacist, white supremacist. White supremacist, white supremacist. Hey, you, yeah, you with the skin and face. Racist, racism, racist. White supremacy, racism, racist. White supremacy, white supremacist. White supremacist. Neo Nazi. A few moments later. Well, it was quite an experience yesterday being the very first target in the Pentagon's new Operation Silence the Talk Show hosts. Friends called us in concern. Are you guys all right? And for a minute, we'll concede we were almost rattled. Then we realized if the woke generals treat us like they've treated the Taliban, we'll be fine. 20 years later, the Taliban are still here. Maybe we ought to promise the Pentagon that we'll get rid of traditional gender rules on this show, change the pronouns, defeat the patriarchy and all that. Then they'd send us billions in unmarked $100 bills as a reward. They've certainly done that before. And that might really kickstart our struggling opium poppy business. Something to think about. Anyway, we're fine. So thank you for the concern. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And I've got to say, um, I'm not exactly excited to uh, defend any mainstream media source. Uh, while Tucker, I, I often agree with a lot of his takes, especially when it's talking about kind of this woke culture garbage that I reported on on this channel. I don't agree with everything the guy says. I don't even tune in every night to watch a show. Usually I just check out clips here and there on Twitter or somebody like Sticks or something like that covering something he said. I wouldn't call myself like a raging Tucker Carlson fan. Um, I'm not really a fan of any mainstream media. Let's be honest, Fox has their spin, just like CNN and MSNBC have their spin, just like these fake news readers at places like The Daily Show and, and John Oliver, they have their spin. All of these people have a, a, a very obvious spin. Uh, they seek out an audience that agrees with them. They don't seek to uh, expand their minds. They, they seek to reinforce them. Um, because that's what's most profitable. And this is on all sides. And, you know, of course, even I'm guilty of that at times. I don't consciously do it, but uh, sometimes I could expand better on certain topics that might, you know, I try to present both sides, but sometimes I fail at that. Now, as I get into the story, I hope that today will be the day, if I haven't yet, that I earn your subscription. There's a red subscribe button right down below the video. Um, and it's the only way you'll ever find my videos. So the saga that's been going on with Tucker Carlson to me is a very interesting one. It's one that's been driven by the void, the vacuum of rage that was left behind by Donald Trump's relative silence to uh, understand why the, that the, the establishment is going after Tucker Carlson so hard is very simple. If you understand the economy that surrounded uh, orange man bad. If you understand the the very reality of the Trump slump, which uh, which we reported on, I think last week, these uh, there is a section of the populace that I'm not kidding you. Their entire identity was fighting orange man, you know, fighting back against against Trump. Their formative years and their 16, 17, 18, 19. This is who they are. They don't actually have a personality. Their personality is orange man bad. And now they've been left feeling empty, emptier than usual. And when um, the option of going out and being a semi-productive member of society is presented or desperately finding someone else to fight against, that, that's what they choose. You know, we have these roving outrage mobs on the internet. Um, that are, that's why there's always something every day. For me, it's job security, for crying out loud. I've got to be honest. I benefit from it. But also, it's a little annoying. You know, it, it, the idea that, you know, CNN isn't trying to make him into Donald Trump is uh, hilarious. Of course they are. You had that that uh, weaselly little Brian Stelter being like, um, Tucker Carlson is just like Trump. Let's compare and contrast. And, and he goes on to make a point by point. Imagine a news network covering another news network. Aren't they supposed to be covering what's going on out there? That's neither here nor there. But, I mean, CNN has daily wine sessions about what Fox News does. Like, who cares? Why don't you report on what's going on out there? This is why I don't watch cable news. It's all a dreck. Uh, but, sorry. Um, so, 
the, you have this group of people online whose entire identity, we can look at a, a paid uh, shill like Demo, uh, like Brooklyn Dad, right? This guy gets paid 50000 a year or something like that from uh, Super PAC to uh, tweet Orange Man Bad. That was literally his job for the past four years. Now he's probably desperate to find new employment. What do they find? Their best, next best thing is Tucker Carlson. Has Tucker Carlson said some things I don't agree with? Yeah, like whatever happened to that USB drive or whatever. I mean, you know, there's Tucker Carlson has had a history of things that you know are are things that I would criticize him on. But to expect to believe that all of a sudden the establishment media turning on Tucker is not just them accepting that you know that to believe that they actually care that Tucker Carlson is damaging people or has terrible opinions is absurd you have to i mean like wake up this is what they need they need Tucker to be the next Trump Stelter even like a bold face said it okay and all of these little drones, 16 to 22-year-old Zoomers, and then people that just spend too much time online, they, they don't know what else to do with their life. And so they, they, they need another uh, evil man. And so and all this is manufactured and coordinated, including John Oliver uh, last night when they, when they thought, you know, he thought that you know, everyone was worshiping him for his stunning and brave takedown of Tucker Carlson, calling Tucker Carlson a, a white supremacist simply because some idiot said that he watched his show a million years ago. Um, and then you have the U.S. military. As far as I understand it, look, I know I have a lot of service men and women that watch my which watch my channel. I guarantee you they agree with me on this. Um, you know, when you look at Tucker's actual comments him saying, it's a mockery of the U.S. military. He added, Goyan, I'm sorry, Carlson said, so we've got new hairstyles, maternity flight suits, pregnant women are going to go fight our wars. Yes, it's performative outrage. Yes, I get it. Sometimes I look at a topic and I'm like, ha, this is funny. And it's just like, am I pacing around my house, raging out? No, but it's my job to entertain. It's Tucker Carlson's job to entertain. He's a news reader, just like anybody on CNN or MSNBC, okay? So... Him going on to say it's a mockery of the U.S. military. He had it. We're going to compare America's armed forces to China's, which he said were becoming more masculine. And as they assembled the world's largest Navy, he showed a photo during his broadcast of an Air Force officer wearing an artificial pregnancy bump while modeling a maternity flight suit still in development. The Air Force has changed some of its rules to allow pregnant service members to fly non-fighter aircraft through their second trimester without waiver. By the way, fine, hundred percent fine with this. Um, I I don't. I think that military being in or women being in the armed forces uh, bring a unique skill set. Okay, uh, one that isn't provided by men and should be more readily used. Where you lose me is with these arguments that like they're just you know they're, they're the same as a man in any other task. It's ridiculous. You can go back to a um, what was it two thousand and what was it two thousand? Let me look it up quick. Two thousand and fifteen NPR study stating all male squads that the study found performed better than mixed gender units across the board. Across the board, the males were more accurate hitting targets, faster at climbing over obstacles, better at avoiding injuries. The Marine study says that its main focus is maximum combat effectiveness because it means fewer casualties again are there some women that can you know that are the same you know that are interchangeable with a man yes of course but we're talking about you know the overall statistics here there are a lot of super important roles in the military that aren't on the ground in the front on the front lines okay it's just the facts um and yes i know there are some strong ladies out there um, who, who can go toe to toe. I know this. And, and also the idea that a lot of people, you know, I get my, you know, supposedly the most powerful military force in the world, getting their feelings hurt, um, saying, well, Tucker Carlson didn't serve any time in the military. So he's not allowed to crit critique us. That's baloney sausage too. Uh, the military is civilian run. Um, his comments, you know, while maybe aren't a big deal, um, 
are just as valid. I mean, Joe Biden never served, and he's the commander in chief for crying out loud. Um, you know, it's 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 so weird to see the very same people that have hated the military for the last twelve or 20 years, 30 years, suddenly embracing it. Why? To own Tucker Carlson. Uh, and you have John Oliver just starts wailing on Tucker Carlson. Why? Because John Oliver is a hack. Um, the idea that, you know, the comparisons that he made are so low IQ uh, that only a moron would buy into it. Look, Tucker Carlson is a news reader, all right? The idea that he's some sort of super evil um, character is ridiculous, but every mainstream media outlet talked about it. John Oliver rips Tucker Carlson over using the supremacist talking points. This is the same argument, okay? It's like that uh, leftist that said, well, Bill Burr could still be secretly uh, racist if, because he, even though he married a black woman, it's the same talking points that say, oh, the OK hand symbol, um, you know, some the some, tw you know, 12 members of the Klan use it. Therefore, everyone else that uses it must stop. You get what I'm saying? Like some of the points you made said, oh, this this one guy who has some really bad opinions said that he watched Tucker show and then he used it to, like, learn how to better spread some of. Uh, some bad ideas. Tucker didn't choose that audience member. And guess what? The same person probably watches John Oliver to understand what the other side is saying. Because, you know, you don't really choose who watches your content. And the idea that, oh, we found this one uh, backwards individual who, who said that he watched Tucker Carlson, that proves that Tucker's actually a white supremacist, which is what John Oliver said. And he said, well... Tucker tries to say that he's not out there burning crosses and he's not doing this, but that's just too narrow of a definition. You have to use the 2021 definition, which means uh, if you're a conservative, essentially. I mean, that's I mean, quite honestly, that's what it is. The word has lost all meaning whatsoever, uh, along with the bad guys from WW2. I don't even know what somebody means when they're saying that anymore. I, I you know, I'm like, oh, did the person vote for Trump? You know what I mean? Like, or do they actually think that the, their skin color is the superior race? Because that's how most of us define that. Um, but that's not how the term is used. Again, a clip from Carlson on talk radio show. Um, you know, he, he said some messed up stuff, right? Where he says, Iraq is a crappy place filled with a bunch of, you know, semi-literate primitive monkeys. Again, not exactly a, 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 an elegant way to put it, but, you know, he said that. And then you have, you know, former KKK leader David Duke praising Carl's, Carlson's subtle message. Um, his, I, don't, I don't buy that as any proof. Um, it's the same reason um, I know a lot of people say, oh, did you see South Park? Totally red-pilled people about the Hollywood people having babies' blood or whatever, like, I don't think that Trey and Matt Parker were, were like we're, we're trying to red pill people on 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 uh, these talking points of Hollywood elites eating babies' blood or something like that. But people just make up whatever they want, uh, and it doesn't. I'm sure that the South Park. I mean, South Park is basically left leaning nowadays, um, and I'm sure that they weren't trying to red pill people on the on the on the letter Q's ideas. He's. He is scared of a country that's looking nothing like he one he grew up in because diversity isn't our strength. Immigra immigrants make our country poorer, dirtier, and more divided. And any attempt to change that culture is an attack on Western civilization, says the guy uh, who is literally paid to whine, paid millions of dollars a year to whine about this country. Uh, a guy that's, you know, been over here, I don't know, a couple of years or something like that. Um, the idea that... Um, bad people are in your audience, therefore it's your fault, is this ridiculous rhetoric that's only used by these lunatics who are literally profiting from dividing us the same way. Um, if you don't think that this was a coordinated attack to try and replace Trump with Tucker Carlson, you're not looking. 
This is exactly what the media is doing because they don't have their orange man bad to talk about anymore. It's pathetic. It's totally obvious. And while I don't blindly simp for Tucker Carlson, a piece of the mainstream media, I do call out obvious hit pieces and an agenda when I see it. And that's exactly what these NPCs are doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.